Okay, so what I have here is a 19-inch Matsushita, which came out of a pole position, which pretty much these are exclusive to pole position. I've never seen one of these in anything other than a pole position. And it was working uh, until it wasn't. And what I mean by that is that the flyback uh, zapped itself a giant hole. And I, ha I since just completely doused it in hot glue to plug the hole. And that allowed me to get this going enough to do further testing and troubleshooting. I did not have a flyback on hand because these, like I say, are really only exclusive to pole position cabinets. So I didn't really have any parts for it. So to try and get it up to a point where I could actually work on it and do some more testing, I just plugged the hole with some hot glue and it worked and allowed it to come on and I was able to adjust to a decent picture. And everything looked okay, uh, but it needed rebuilt. The caps were original, the flyback was obviously original, it had a giant hole in it, so at the very minimum the flyback needed replaced. So I went ahead and did a cap kit, these are all the old ones, as a matter of fact none of them were leaking, and they were all in relatively good shape. Uh, but after doing the cap kit and putting the new flyback in, the image was, you couldn't see, see how dark it is? Let me turn the light out here. This is the best I could get the image to look. The heater voltage is way low. Like you can't even, let me turn the light out. You can't even see. This is the best image that I could possibly achieve without it being overdriven and raster lines and, and all that stuff. You can't even see the the heater voltage, the heater. I don't, let's see, it's uh. Yeah. Do you see it? I don't see it. And I'll turn the light back on here if I can. Um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so you can see it's working. And here is... I'll focus in here on the, the heater. And I'll turn the light out and look at this. It's there. That little bit of orange is all you get. The heater voltage is about, I don't know, 3 volts. Uh, it should be 6.3 volts, but it's stuck on about 3.1. So that is with the brand new flyback. Now if I put the original flyback back in, my heater voltage jumps back to 6.3 and I have a nice, bright, beautiful image. I put the new flyback back in and it's back to 3 volts and a very dim image. So you'll see here that the flyback does not have any controls on it, like a standard flyback. All the controls are external. Your screen pot is right here, and your brightness pots are here on the deflection board on the back side here. I'll show them later if I remember to. Uh, but so it should be able, in theory, to just replace the flyback from one with the other, and all your controls should need to be set the same. You shouldn't need to adjust anything, and it should still be good, but it's not. With this flyback in here, the new flyback, the heater voltage is cut in half and I have a super dim image that I can't adjust any brighter without it getting bleeding real bad and uh, raster lines. It just doesn't work. So I bought a different flyback with a different part number from a different supplier. Uh, this one here came from Peter at Arcade Parts and Repair who has never done me wrong with anything I've ever ordered. I think maybe he just got it in a bad series of flybacks. So we're going to test that theory. I got this from Arcade Shop, and it is a different design. The case is different. The part number is different. Uh, so we're going to put this one in and see if this one gives me my bright image. So as you can see, this is the new one. You can tell it's new compared to this original one here that's covered in dirt and grime and the giant hole in the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out. This one has a white focus wire. This wire here is a, uh, the focus wire, and it's a white one. And you can see here that on this one, it's a red one. So we're going to replace the one from that I got from Arcade Parts and Repair with this one from Arcade Shop. And as you can see from before, the image is real dim. Uh, the colors and everything is all adjusted because with this one in here, it with the original one in it, it looks beautiful. Nice and bright, perfect colors. It's glorious. It just has a giant hole in it that needs to be replaced because the hot glue won't hold forever. Uh, so here's a before. And I'm going to go ahead and take the old flyback out that came from Arcade Parts and Repair and put this one in from Arcade Shop. And when I cut back here, we'll see how it looks. So one moment. Well, this didn't turn out like I expected to at all. After trying to uh, line this up, this is, <laughs> this is a Frankenstein type of deal here. Um, after trying to line this up, I noticed that the pins 
and the footprint is different from the chassis. Uh, this one here from Arcade Parts and Repair, the footprint is perfect. It fits right in and the part number says TLF 6041 Foxtrot. And this is the one that has the zero or low heater voltage in the dark image. Um, this one is part number TLF6041F. TL4 or TLF6041F. Same part number, different flyback. This one has a much smaller footprint. The pins uh, do not line up with this at all. The, if you look at the circumference of the pins, it's it's a uh, you know, when you look at this one, it's kind of like a C, where the ferrite core is, you know, it's like this. Um, but this one here, even though it has the same part number, is like this. It's it's a smaller, so the pins don't line up with these holes at all. You'd have to drill a hole. You know, if I was to mark, like, this is how far off each pin is from the hole. is roughly, like, here, and here, and here. You know that kind of thing. I mean, that's how that's how far off it is. So I have to drill holes in the chassis all around here to get this to even fit in. So I have this kind of Frankenstein thing going on here. I got wires soldered to the um, pins here on the flyback, and they're soldered to the bottom of the chassis. And I got my focus wire installed, and I'll show you here. We we saw what it looked like with this one installed. It was very dim, and there was no heater voltage. Now check out the way it looks with this Frankenstein setup going on here. It does work. I, it, I've already had it on so you don't hear it energized or high voltage, but check it out. There you go. So we've also got, you can clearly see the heat, look at that. Compared to, compared to this thing, look at that. That is nice and bright. So I don't know if, I don't know if this is the correct part number for this type, or if it's the correct part number for this type. But clearly this one has the correct footprint, but doesn't work. This one has the same exact part number, but the footprint is different, and does work. So, <laughs> it's just, I can't imagine. This is advertised, uh, I don't know if I really want to do this safely here, but it's advertised as uh, the TM-202G. Uh, Matsushita flyback. That's what it, that's what it's advertised as. And as you can see here, TM202G. So this is advertised as a direct drop and replacement for this chassis, and it it is electrically speaking, but not footprint speaking. It's it's smaller, and so. But you can look here and see, perfect. This is what the image looks like with the original flyback installed, and we know what it looks like with that one installed. So. Yeah, I don't know if this is just a faulty flyback. Um, I, I gotta say maybe, but it's very odd that it has the same part number as this one, even though this one is a smaller footprint. I don't know what's going on here, but clearly this one does work, with even with the Frankenstein setup here. You can see that it's operating, and it looks great. It's, of course, too tall, but the image is really good. Yeah, well, it's way too tall, but you get the idea. So, I don't know really what to do. I'm going to have to see if I can maybe drill some holes in here and modify the footprint to get this permanently installed. I may end up having to do that. But, as, a, as far as the solution goes, this flyback does work and is a good flyback for this chassis, but it doesn't fit. So, you, I mean, I got this from Arcade Shop. I don't know what's going on with this one. So I'll have to see if I can do some surgery here to the board um, and get this to fit. This is just, this is holding on a, a wire from the other side, so don't worry about that. But uh, I'll have to see if I can possibly get this to fit in here and come up with a permanent solution. So let's see what happens. Okay, real quick, I got the flyback desoldered from the Frankenstein type of mess. And you can see here that this is the one here from Arcade Parts and Repair. Uh, TLF6041F. This is the one from Arcade Shop. TL46041F. So they're both the same part number, but they're very different. Um, you can see how big around the footprint is for this one, and this one is much smaller. So, but we know it works. This one doesn't work. And this one does work, but it has the wrong footprint. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to 
these pins all need to come more out towards the shell. You can see that the pins here are almost at the edge of the shell, or the case, and on this one, they're not. So i got to either figure out, I can't drill holes in the chassis because um, the traces go various different directions and I'll drill through traces and it'll just be a, a, a nightmare. So what I have to do is try and bend these into a Z, uh, bend them outwards and then flat again. So I'll see if I can get that done and then I'll be able to put this in in the same footprint. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I got the new flyback installed successfully. I was able to get it to match the footprint by taking all the legs and basically bending them out at a 45 so the edge of the, the tip of the, of the pin uh, or the leg now was uh, parallel with the case, the outside of the case, kind of like these were. Uh, not that one I guess, but this one. So I was able to take the legs and bend them out at a 45 to where they match the position of these. Then I had to take the tip of the leg and bend it back. So basically the leg goes out at a 45 and the very tip of the leg comes back in like that. So basically it makes a 7 if you will. And after doing that I was able to get one leg at a time, one by one, lined up, lined up, lined up, lined up, lined up, and it just was a very arduous process having to modify that. But after doing so, it works fine. So this is the flyback out of the, from the uh, arcade shop, from arcade shop's website. And this is the one from Arcade Parts and Repair. And like I just mentioned, you know, a few minutes ago, they're both the exact same part number, TLF6041 Foxtrot. Now I don't know why this footprint, this footprint matches the original footprint, but it doesn't provide any heater voltage, or basically almost no heater voltage. This one from Arcade Shop does not fit the footprint, but it provides full heater voltage. So you have to modify the feet to get it to fit the footprint, but once you do, it sits in there nice and easy. Uh, there's not much of the foot sticking out, pardon me, or the leg sticking out to solder to, but there is enough to solder to, it's just not like you know, normally they stick out probably, you know, a quarter inch. Uh, now after bending it and bending the tip back out to fit all the holes on the footprint, it's maybe about, you know, this much. But it is enough to go through the PCB completely and get a good solder joint. So after modifying all those feet and getting it installed and soldered in, uh, it's perfect. So I don't have an answer. This is the box that the, this one here came in. And you can see it says right on here, uh, TM202G. And that's this model number, as we can see, uh, TM-202G. But what further deepens the mystery is the fact that this one works, and it's advertised for this chassis, but it does not fit the footprint. This one is advertised as being for this chassis, and it does fit the footprint, but it does not work. Well, it works, but it provides no heater voltage. So I don't know what the deal is. Why they both have the same part number, but they're different. Uh, why one works and one doesn't, I can't say. Uh, because this one from Arcade Parts and Repair is the same thing. It's advertised as, it's got the same part number, it's advertised for the same chassis, and it fits the chassis fine, but no heater voltage. This one is advertised for this chassis, has the same part number, but it does not fit, and but it does work. So I don't have an answer, I can't explain it. So, you know, I don't know if this is from a bad batch or has something wrong with it. I can't say. And there's, I didn't want to order another one. So I was waiting to see if the one from Arcade Shop worked, and it does. But it has the footprint issue. So I, I cannot fathom as to really what's going on here. Uh, the All I can think of is either it's a bad batch of flybacks, or it's just not the, or it's not the correct part. Maybe this is a not the correct part number from the factory, somebody put the wrong part number. I can't say, but it's odd because the footprint does fit. So I don't have an answer. So if you have a Matsushita and you got to change the flyback out, uh, I guess for the time being you can get them from Arcade Shop. You'll have to modify the feet and the, the legs to get it to fit, but it does work. Uh, proven concept here, and it looks great. Uh, so after the flyback and the cap kit and the good reflow and cleanup, it's looking good. Let me turn the light out here and you can actually see we know from before uh, the heater voltage from the one from Arcade Parts and Repair was zero basically and here's the one from Arcade Shop nice bright neck glow good heater voltage 
and there's <laughs> there's more proof. So after spending some time getting the size and adjustments and colors, it's looking fantastic. And we'll just show it here for a minute, or a few seconds anyway. Yeah, uh, it looks good on in person. It's nice and purple in the back. It's a bit more blue on camera than it really should be. Or it's blue on camera, but in person it's not as blue. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's nice and crisp and sharp. Uh, we can go up here. There we go. Uh, some convergence issues, but it's a 38-year-old, 39-year-old tube, so I'm not going to mess with the convergence. But it looks really good. Nice, crisp, and sharp. Good colors. And uh, it's ready to go. So I wanted to chronicle this and kind of give a, an ending. I mean, I was posting about this on Facebook. I didn't really plan on doing a video on this because uh, it just, need, just needed a... It was working. just needed caps and a flyback, but it turned into a whole fiasco with... Uh, this new flyback having no heater voltage and it was just kind of a head scratcher. So thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate it. And if you have any uh, questions, let me know. I appreciate a comment or two or a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.